As everyone knows, after case one comes case three. For case three, we have some very particular things that need to be true. If the parent of Z is red and its uncle is black, so my parent is red and my uncle is black, and if Z is the left child and its parent is a left child. Whew, a lot of stuff there. This will actually work the exact same if it was right and right. That what matters is that they are both on the same side. And we'll come back to that when we look at the code. But for now, we're always going to pretend like it's left child and left child. What are we going to do? Well, we're actually going to rotate the tree about the grandparent of Z. So we're going to go up to W and then rotate a right rotation around W. So if I rotate W to the right, then W drops down and becomes the right child of X and X's previous right child becomes the left child of W. Z gets pulled up along the way and everything else remains mostly the same. After doing this, we're going to do a small recolor. We're going to color the new parent of Z which is still the old parent, to be black. And then we're going to color the previous grandparent, which is now Z's sibling, to be red. And now, as we did before, let's check. Did we ruin the number of black nodes? In this example, we had one black node going to the left and two to the right. Here we have one black node going to the left and two going to the right. So it seems like we haven't broken anything. Just like we did with case one, let's analyze this by actually looking at an insertion and seeing how it plays out. Because this nice picture I made here is all well and good, but maybe it's a bit confusing as to what we're going to do. So just like we saw before, let's perform an insertion. Here, I want to insert so that we have the correct scheme happening. If I inserted 11, where would 11 go? 11 would go over here. And if we look at what's happening, my parent is red, my Parent's sibling is black because it's a nil node. Nil nodes are black, so we're going to need to be careful about that. But this is the right scenario, and maybe I should have colored this node red to show why we broke it. So we have 11 is red, and then we will need to do a bunch of fixing. Just like we saw before, we're going to copy this down by hand and then analyze that tree instead of this one because it's a bit easier for me to actually draw and move things around when I have drawn it myself as opposed to this nice pretty PDF image that I made. So if we're trying to insert 11 into this tree, Let's begin by adding 11 to the left of 12, like we said before. So we add 11 over here. What was our first step? Our first step was to perform a right rotation around the grandparent of the freshly inserted node. Before we do that, maybe we should check that we're in the right situation. 11 is red, its parent is red, and its parent's sibling is black. We're in the right situation. They are both also left children, so this all seems to check out. Now. We need to perform a right rotation. I'm going to do this by moving things around. So I need to move 15 down and move 12 up. And then 15 becomes the right child of 12. So after having performed our right rotation, let's again make sure that we did that correctly. If we scroll up, the grandparent W became the right child of the parent of Z. So 15, which was previously the grandparent of 11, is now the right child of 11. Now let's do our recoloring. I need to recolor the parent to be black and both children to be red. Let's color this a little bit better. So now let's look at how, how are we doing? Have we broken it? Have we done anything? This now has one, two, three black nodes. Three, three, three. So we've seemed to have fixed it in this case. So we perform a right rotation on the grandparent of the node, and then we are going to recolor the children of our parent, which includes ourselves, but we actually don't really need to do that. So we recolor the parent and the sibling to be black and red, respectively. Now let's look at the code for this. If we scroll down, we have the code. If we zoom out a little bit so we can see what's happening. If we are the root or our parent is black, then we aren't in the situation, so we aren't going to bother with it. 
Now, we're going to assign the right variables. X is the parent of Z, W is its grandparent. We're going to perform a right rotation about the grandparent, and then color our parent to be black and our sibling to be red, exactly like what we just said. And conveniently, because I defined the letters to be the same, it's going to work out the same. I will mention, we have another case here. If we were both on the right, so if instead of this picture, I had the exact mirror image of that picture, everything gets switched. All rights change to lefts and all lefts change to rights. So if we are on the right and the right, then we do a left rotate about the grandparent. Everything else is the same. So we aren't, haven't mentioned that case, but it is exactly the same as this case. So case C was right rotation followed by a recolor. Why did we do this one before case two? Well, let's look at case two and see how it relates to case three. So if we scroll down, here's case two. What we have here is we have, again, two sequ sequential red nodes. When we have these two sequential red nodes, it could be possible that one is a left child and one is a right child. In this case, we have that X is a left child and a Z is a right child. So if X is the parent of Z, and we have the exact same situation as before. Our parent is red, our uncle is black, so we need to do something to fix this. What are we going to do? Well, Nick obviously has a typo in his version of the notes, which hopefully won't be there in yours. We're going to perform a left rotate on X. So we perform a left rotate on X. By doing the left rotation, X drops down to being Z's left child. And then we should at least mention whatever was the left child of Z, it's nil, conveniently, because we just inserted Z, would then be the right child of X. So that's a bit convenient. Now, if we look at what we have after doing this left rotation, that looks real familiar for some reason. Oh, did Nick copy paste the code? You bet he did because he's lazy. So this is exactly case three. So by forming this left rotation, we then will update and switch the names of these things and call this thing to be Z and this to be X. And then we have exactly the situation we had above. So we, well, case two degenerates into case three after one rotation. Then we're gonna apply case three on what I now called node Z. So maybe if we wanted to, we could update this and say Z there. And somewhere in here we say swap Z and X. So that's actually a more programmatic way of doing it, and that way we can keep Z to mean the thing we need to fix. Just like we did with the cases one and cases three, case two is best understood by performing the algorithm ourselves. So here we are going to insert an element of 13. And let's see how that works. Let's insert 13 into the tree. To do that, we're going to add it to the right of 12, and it's going to be a red node. Step one was left rotate on 12. If I do a left rotation on 12, it drops down here. 13 gets promoted up there, and then I need to draw in the correct edge between them. So I do my left rotation. Now, if we look, we are in a very similar situation to what we had before. So I have that for node 12, its parent is red and its uncle is black. So I'm going to perform a right rotation on 15, the grandparent of 12. So this goes down over here. And then these get moved up and we need to connect 15. And then if 13 had had a right child, it would now be the left child of 15. It didn't in this case, so we don't need to worry too much about that. And now we need to do our recoloring. I'm going to recolor 13 to be black and then recolor 15 to be red. And I might mess up the coloring here, we'll see. I did a little bit, so let's fix that edge and make it black as well. And now we have fixed it. So we did a left rotation, followed by a right rotation, followed by a recoloring. That was case two, followed by case three. Also got the code for case two. If we scroll down, here's case two. Step one, if the parent is black, we don't need to do any work, or if we're at the root, we don't really care. And then we're going to assign the correct X's and Y's, just like we've seen in the past. And then we are going to say, if we're in either situation, a right left or a left right, then we are going to perform a left rotation or a right rotation. Exactly like the other case, if we swap all lefts and rights, 
we the algorithm works just the same. And I can leave it to you if you want to convince yourself of that, draw a tree or find an example in the tree I gave you of this occurring. And then you can check that it works out the same and you don't break anything too badly. 